So Leo, Sun, Moon, Rising, Leo, Sun, Jupiter. Let's quickly dive in. Let's see what messages come through for you. You know you can reverse roles and switch the cases if needed. Leo. Leo, this week, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, and Jupiter. Anything and everything that you need to know, any specific person on your mind you're thinking about, or in your surroundings, influencing your current situation. Okay, Leo. like this is beautiful 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 energy to start with i see there is a connection i see there's love there's attachment no doubt in this situation for a lot of you i see this is something you always wanted and uh it's a love bond three of cups wow um uh, for a lot of you i see you shutting down your doors to somebody of the past or simply there is somebody like you're creating your new world, this ten of cups, this partnership, there's love. And then there is somebody who is continuously banging your door. We're going to clarify why is this person here, what they want. And uh, temperance. For a lot of you, star temperance energy. I see you healing from your past. I see you making plans for your future. I see a lot of positive shift happening in your life, Leo. Amazing energy to start with. But whatever you're moving towards, it's partnership, it's love, it's companionship. Yeah, okay. For a lot of you, I see you um, moving away. I see there's a transformation happening in your life. Big transformation happening in your life. And for someone specific, I'm picking up that there is somebody who is watching you from a distance. And this person is missing you. I see some... some I sense some deep, deep attachment that is... Um, what should I say? Deep, deep attachment. Somebody's watching and missing you. Leo? Ace of Cups. The one you're dealing with here is definitely embracing this new love energy between you and them. This might be a connection that you are in right now, but there is some sense of renewal in this connection. There's some sense of uh, refreshment I'm picking up where uh, you're feeling love for somebody and somebody's feeling the love for you. But on the other hand, there is some sort of departure taking place. Somebody's moving on. For a lot of you, I see you moving on from your past, but your past person is still watching you. You know that. But what you've found is something you want to cherish and you don't want that energy to interfere that past energy to interfere in this beautiful new beginning that's taking place in your life right wow we have the star card and the eight of pentacles for a lot of you i see a lot of hope associated in this new situation that you have found you know uh, you, you feel some sense of healing here there is work on your mind there is growth on your mind you want to create something in your life right and there is an energy of uh, abundance wow <laughs> i'm really loving this energy there is an energy of creating something in a, in a hope your energy towards this whole scenario this new connection or this i won't say new connection maybe this is your current connection but something from the past is definitely there there's some attachment and somebody's having hard time letting you go especially when they see you happy in a new situation in a different situation I see you are hopeful that this is going to work out. This is beautiful and this, is, this has potential. Wheel of Fortune tried coming out. Definitely new cycles shifting in your life and new beautiful things coming in. What's this? Flipping over. Okay, the, holy, the Hermit in the reverse position. Give me a Virgo you're dealing with. Leo, can be a Virgo individual here. Somebody is coming out of a very dark phase. Somebody is... sorry okay somebody's coming out of a dark phase somebody is coming out of um, some deep thoughts some regrets some energy of um, this person had some serious doubts questions on their mind they were not happy about something but i see they're coming out of this whole uh, negative phase of their life they're realizing some positive shift is taking place here, Ace of Swords. This person is now having the truth. This person is now having uh, the clarity. 
the way you are hopeful about working things out here, in the same way this person is embracing the truth. You both are in, uh, I, I pick up a kind of energy where you both are transcending illusions in your life. And there's some sense of getting clarity for the future. What is this truth? What is this person embracing here with the truth here? Hanged man. Okay. This person has been stuck on some infinite cycle here. See, can you see this infinity thing? Somebody's creating. Somebody's creating here. Oat king. Okay, this is... Wow, hanged man. This person really needed a perspective change in their life. They're finally coming out of that phase of illusions, confusion, depression. They got the clarity. They are still stuck, I won't say, but definitely they're realizing that they need to come out of the energy of staying stuck here. Three of swords. Somebody's heartbroken. I don't know if this is the past person or this is your current person. They're healing from some heartbreak because of some past energy. But I see some connection flourishing. And maybe you both are coming from places where you both have terrible pasts. If that's the case, Leo. What else? Page of Cups. Yeah, communication, apology, expression, telling somebody how much you care. For a lot of you, this is you trying to tell this person because this person has been through a dark phase because of something of the past. And now you're telling this person how compassionate and how involved you are in this situation. Ten of Wands. Yeah, this past baggage. This past baggage. Let's see where is the situation heading. Especially for you first. Okay, this, see the temperance is here, the Three of Cups. Both these cards are out again. What I see here is that <laughs> a lot of joy, a lot of happiness. Can you see both these cards here? There is some sense of uh, uh, pouring your emotions. Pour this, both these cards, somebody's pouring water, pouring liquids. So there is some sense of pouring energy, love, emotions in a situation. That's joyful. For a lot of you, I see get-togethers. You might be going out. On parties with this person, you might be spending time with this person. Your personal energy is beautiful. What about this person? Let's see. Okay. I see in the near future, you are going to be investing a lot in a situation with love, with, with all dedication. Wow. What else? We have Six of Wands, the Moon, and Ten of Pentacles. Now, this the person we're talking about in the near future. I see they're not really happy about some things, Leo. This person is having some dissatisfactions. I don't know if this is your personal life and this is somebody else. Let's have a little more clarity. This commitment, no doubt. This partnership, this family. But there is an energy of feeling disappointed about something. For a lot of you, I see you have a relationship or you have a new connection in your life and there's somebody who is... Not really happy with that. Oh, we have Page of Pentacles, Five of Pentacles. Okay, okay, I'm getting that. There's some sort of disappointment and dissatisfaction that this person carries. Though they're very committed to your situation, but despite of that, I see this. you feel that this person tends to ignore you sometimes. They, they don't give you the kind of um, commitment, the kind of love you want. Page of Pentacles, Five of Pentacles, I see... That you are trying to give 100% to somebody, but then you feel that it's not getting reciprocated if that's the case. I'm also getting this energy, Leo, that Ace, uh, Eight of Pentacles, it's like you're trying to create something. You're putting your effort, hard work and everything. But when you see that it's, it's not exactly giving you the results the way you want, you might feel a little unhappy about it. Or it's just in your thoughts. Five of Pentacles. Wow. This can be financial and work life also. You, you're giving your 100% but you feel that okay there's some sort of financial um, imbalance. Not really a crunch but imbalance. But somebody here is not uh, giving their 100% and that's why you're not happy about it if that's the case. Knight of Swords. This person is coming in. Leo, this person is coming in and uh, there will be communication. If you're waiting for somebody to show up, they will be showing up very soon. If you're waiting for somebody to show up, Leo, they will be showing up very soon. 
there's some sense of feeling lonely despite of being around, being surrounded by people if 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 you get what i'm trying to tell you there's some sense of feeling lonely despite of being with everybody there's some sense there's something which is two of pentacles yeah lord if i see financial instability and for rest of you there is a struggle past is still weighing you down if that's the case leo we have ace of pentacles i see a new beginning for lord of you it took some time for you to make the decision out of the two pentacles you want in your life which one is the offer or which one is the beginning that you want to have in your life and i see eventually it's happening yes well wow. maybe you're trying to i'm getting this energy that you're trying to um love somebody you're trying to show compassion to somebody but this person is little guarded or maybe it's just they have their own emotions at the moment they they love you but they are all, they are going through their own phase and that's why you might feel that okay this person shows very less expresses very less these are pentacles here let's let's have this deck once then we'll have a couple of advices for you leo and then we'll wind up the reading right so i want to know what is this death and transformation energy for you because i see you're going through a phase of massive transformation in your life page of cups okay younger water sign a um cancer pisces scorpio magician okay okay justice i'm getting here leo that you have detached yourself from your past you have striked some sort some sort of balance in your life and you were the one who leveled up to manifest yeah magician manifest stability and honesty and balance in your life you wanted to be fair and that's why you detach yourself from your past i sense some side of i'm sorry i'm sense some kind of separation i see apologies also it's like you want to apologize to somebody or you want to express love to somebody but this person is still in those thoughts you might feel that okay this person is not letting go maybe your current partner is feeling the same four of swords high priestess moon yeah a lot of emotions my god there's some sort of imbalance for a lot of you i see it's hard to get attuned into some new life some new energy here Ten of Pentacles for a lot of you. It's a new commitment of your life. Ten of Cups. It's taking some time. You are in your thoughts. I'm so sorry. Okay, you are in some sort of thoughts, and it's taking some time. That's what I'm picking up. It's okay. I see a lot of inward energy. Moon, High Priestess. Try to connect to your intuition. What is your heart telling you, Leo? Try to connect to your intuition. For a lot of you, I'm picking up that uh, somebody here has found new love, and they're trying to move on. Wow. Okay, Leo. Fates. You feel your destiny, your fate is connected to somebody between the world. I see some transformation happening in your life. This person wants to stay in the present, here and now. For a lot of you, I see this person is letting go of the the past, and they don't want to stress about future. They just want to be in the present, go the distance. I see a lot of effort from your end also. For a lot of you, I see you might give it another try. I see you might be hearing from this person also very soon. I see some struggle, and there is silence. You might hear from somebody. You get the news. You get the clarity. Okay, this is what is happening behind the scenes. You're feeling abandoned because of this person. And four of swords is showing me there's silence, but eventually you're understanding that you need to listen to your intuition in this case. All that does. So be careful if somebody is wearing a mask, Leo. Be careful if somebody is uh, not completely honest in a situation. I see you were dealing with somebody that was uh, somebody was dishonest about their personal life. You might be trying to move on from it and clean it, clean it up. Somebody is moving on and cleaning it up. For a lot of you, this is you. Oh my. Okay, let's have a card of advice. Okay, let's let's use this deck. Card of advice for Leo, and we will wind up this reading, right? Leo. Bob Cat Spirit. Life is a mystery. 
okay I, I get that with the death card and with the moon card twice on the table i'm getting the sense that there is there is some deep transformation happening within you there is a deep change happening within you and for a lot of you i see i, I sense some sort of a mysterious behavior from your end or somebody you're dealing with for a lot of you i'm also getting this energy of non-compromising you know wanting to get what i want kind of energy scra okay scra i'm sorry <laughs> beetle spirit <laughs> magic works through you so leo you can definitely manifest the change you want in your life i see some deep transformation i see departure it was an important connection of your life possibly you had a lot of love but that past energy is now uh, moving away for a lot of you i see somebody leaving the scene some sort of separation that took place in the recent past you might get some news about this person but there is something beautiful and new starting in your life so i would suggest you to focus there and listen to your intuition about it right you're still um it's just that things are going to unfold the way it it is meant to be right and somebody here is just focusing on their present right somebody is uh, sitting at a place where they are uh, wow <laughs> okay very interesting energy so i'm going to leave you here leo thank you so much guys for watching bye